Hello. Happy New Year. Have you ever uh, tried something and it worked out really great the first time and then you tried it again it was a total disaster? That's what I did here. So I'm trying to figure out a way <clears throat> to like marble resin um, you know, marble it. I, uh, I wanted depth and swirls and, you know, marble effect. So I had, I mixed up a little bit just to experiment. And then I used some bright orange paint, just a drop in there. Swirled it in my cup just a little bit. Poured it in my paint palette mold and came up with, I thought, a really pleasing effect. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, well, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. I don't, I don't know. Um, but the paint sunk to the bottom <laughs> and just leaked out and made these ugly, horrible, really bad, nasty, just disgusting caps. I unmolded them this morning and the paint was still wet underneath. It's dry now, but oh, not happy. Not happy at all. This one um, the two colors mixed a little too much, didn't get the effect I wanted. Um, I mean, it causes craters, you know, negative space where the paint sunk to the bottom. Just gross. Gross. I, I can't even salvage these to do anything with them. Um, so I thought, how, what did I do different? I have no idea. The only thing I can think of is the paint I used was really thick. I mean, almost three-dimensional thick. And when I put it in and swirled it with my stick a little bit, it just, I don't know, it just swirled really nice. And when I poured it, I mean, it sunk to the bottom a little bit on this one. You can kind of see right there. It's still a little. Nothing like these. Oh, God. So I thought if I layered it, I'm going to try layering. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, we'll all see how this works out tomorrow when I get up. But I've got a little bit of resin degassing here. This is a two part epoxy resin in Virotex Light. <clears throat> Use two equal parts mixed together. Let it settle. Let the bubbles come to the top and if you blow on it the uh, carbon dioxide in your breath will pop those bubbles. And uh, eh, Maybe 30 minutes, something like that if you're patient enough. And if you stir slowly you won't get a whole lot of bubbles. So, and then I, uh, this morning, I made a tray, and they're filled about halfway, some a little more, some a little less, and they are just, I mean, they're not solid. It's been a few hours, but they're solid enough that I could pour something in there, and it's not going to sink to the bottom. <laughs> That's all I cared about. These are so gross, I can't even... I can't salvage them at all for anything that I can think of. So, um, let's try this. Take a little cup. I don't want to do all one color and try a different color. So I'll pour a little bit in here. And what color? 
got this really pretty yellow that I wanted. Try the yellow again. Shake it good. Shake, shake, shake. This light is out. There. Just one drop. Just one. After you shake, shake, shake. Okay. Now, carefully. Carefully. Swirly, swirl. Oh, that's not enough. Come on. Try a little more. Swirl a little more. Yeah. And then... Okay, let's see what happens. Oops, ooh, I got my thumb in there. Gross. <laughs> it's all sticking. Oh. I would suggest using your old palettes for this. You know, the ones that are a little scratched up and kind of beat up. That looks nice. I'll try another one. A different color. <laughs> totally stuck out here. Oh my god. Let go. Try this pretty minty green. Can you see what I'm doing? Probably not. Two drops of that. And a stick. Ooh, new stick. Looks good. Pour in here. Great. Please come out. And uh, I wanted to try one with two colors. this red and this gold and forever he loves sticks Two drops of this red, maybe three. And this pretty gold. Whoops. Ah! I'm slowly. Oh, yeah. 
not dispersed very much. Okay. So tomorrow and I'm done watching Sunday morning. Tomorrow morning. We'll see what happens, okay? Okay, okay. See you later. Bye. Okay. I'm not crazy about them. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. And I'm trying another way right now. But I won't know how it works out until tomorrow. So, there's one. It's okay. I topped it with a little clear polish to, you know, see, see how well it turned out. Yeah, it's, it's all right. For some reason, this yellow one is a good example. The paint is globbing up in little balls. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm not getting the long strands. Maybe I didn't mix it well enough. I don't know. This one did it too. This aqua color. It's funny looking. This gold. Did a little bit. I mean, I shook the bottle really well. You see how that red? It almost looks like blood vessels. That's kind of what I was after. Not necessarily the look of blood vessels. Just that veiny viney kind of look with strands of gold through it and it uh, didn't work out so good. This one, is it this one? Kind of globbed up and um, the uh, there were two little bubbles of gold right there that popped and made a little hole. Uh, this one's kind of the same. I don't understand. I'm gonna try. I'm trying. Like I said, I'm trying it another way right now. Let's see what happens. These where the paint just totally leaked out. I put a clear coat over it, trying to save it. I still hate it. It is ugly as anything. I really hate it. And they're so bumpy, I'd have to spend all kinds of time trying to smooth it out. I just, no way. No thanks. I'm just going to throw them out and uh, start from scratch. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I really wanted, I just wanted a swirly more dimensional kind of look. What I am surprised and pleased about is that <clears throat> the resin cures beautifully, even with a water-based acrylic paint in it that I'm very pleased with. Um, unless the paint they kind of see a little little bubble right there. The paint is breaking through the resin and it causes um, a texture that I don't want and an effect I don't want that the paint leaks through and bleeds all over the resin. I don't like that. Like these. Ugly as hell. So if you've had any, I'm not going to try it with, um, I'm trying to keep the materials somewhat similar. Acrylic paint is, whoopsie daisy, is plastic based. Acrylic is plastic. And um, so I'm trying to uh, keep them somewhat similar. But it's water based. Water and resin don't mix real well. That's why I won't use anything like food coloring or 
watercolor or um, anything like that. I'm afraid to use uh, enamel like this because it's it's not really plastic. It's something else. It's it's an enamel. It's not the same material. I don't know. If you had any good luck mixing paint, water-based acrylic paint with resin, let me know. Because I'm really trying to figure out a new, a different way to color my cabs. I'm really disappointed this one. You can see where it broke through right here. Bummer. And it leaked all over my palette. <laughs> I got yellow and red stains on my palette. That's why you want to use an old one that's a little beat up because they will get, <laughs> get junk all over them. So that's all. I'm not, uh, haven't really been in the mood to bead. I kind of, I don't know, I'm having a hard time focusing on that. Or if, even just taking the time to, I don't know, it's, I'm still just not myself. <laughs> um, that's it. I can't think of anything else. Thanks for watching. Stay happy, stay inspired. Um, Be careful of the toxic people in your life. They just, oh my God, I don't understand them. I never will. Um, it's very odd. They're very odd people. And I don't understand them. So, be happy, be inspired, be productive, as productive as you can next week. I'm going to try anyway. My four-day weekend is over. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.